Hi there, Joka here from A Pocket Full of Happiness, and today I'm sharing these cards with you that I've created with some of the background builder stamp sets that I restocked uh, recently. First up is the Chevron Knit Pattern Builder. This is actually one of my favorite um, stamp sets, and I think I haven't used it since last Christmas. So um, that was one of the decision, uh, one of the reasons I decided to go with it. And these are the ink colors that I'm using throughout this video. They are all from Altenew. I think you can see the colors um, there. And I think, I mean, in this video I went with uh, foil-ish colors, um, but I think this stamp set is really great for, um, not just for fall, but for Christmas as well. Um, and here I'm actually going to show you something that this was the first time I did it myself. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I mean, it's not uh, not super hard to line up this stamp set, but they're still going to be small. Uh, you know, it's not, not going to be perfect. But if you do what I did here, I'm actually lining up the last row or the first row of the of the design with the one that is already stamped. And... Well, that color is going to be a bit uh, different, but I like that look. But this way, there's going to be um, the spacing is always going to be the same. Now, obviously, this is better if you um, work with similar colors. Otherwise, they can get the colors can get muddy, um, which is why this next line I'm not gonna uh, line up. So you can see that there is a a, a bit of a white uh, space there but I could have actually d uh, done that because the two colors are not that different they wouldn't have been um, bad I think so next time I know better but uh, if you see the bottom uh, everything is lined up perfectly okay so um, for this last one here I had to pull out another color because uh, the colors that I chose were not enough so I decided to add this kind of like a butter color so um yeah this is the finished uh, background i think it's super fun and now here is another favorite of mine the the leopard pattern builder um this works well this is a seamless pattern so basically you could stamp it um several times at the top or the bottom or the left or the right it's gonna give you a continuous pattern now what you have to um, be careful about is how to line up these ones uh, you should be able to see just a hair of the previously stamped image through your stamp when you when you um, line them up and then they are gonna be perfect there's not going to be any line between them. Obviously, this is a little bit of a, a trial and error. Um, how they, uh, you know, how it's best to line them up, but it's really not that uh, hard. So don't be afraid of um, trying these. Okay, so this is going to be my second panel, and then another favorite one here is going to be the argyle pattern builder this one is super simple uh, you will see in a second so um, I stamp this um, larger um, image first and then I could um, so here I went with a, an orange one an orange color and then the other one here I just move the stamp a little bit to fill out those uh, white spaces in between the orange uh, once and this is going to be um, like a coral color and then I'm uh, building up the the top which <laughs> eventually actually I, I didn't really need uh, to do because then I'm gonna cut apart this panel but um, if you want to build a, a full background then this is how you do it and then of course you can um, you know do or stop here or just add this accent um or like a stitched lines on top 
And you can also fill the white spaces, by the way. So you could technically add four colors if you wanted to. Or embossing. I've, I've seen somebody do it and it, it was absolutely fabulous. So there's uh, plenty of options with this one as well. Okay, so this is going to be my third uh, panel. And now I'm going to pull out uh, cardstock in the same colors or similar colors that I used. Um, so I kind of try to match these to my inks. And I'm going to work with some of my dies here. This one is the Love Letters set. This comes with um, four letters um, and then four shadows. These are the, the shadows here. And by the way, you can line these up um, in well, two ways. You can add the shadow uh, to the letters um, in a way that, you know, the shadow is at the bottom or you can do it at the top. And I think um, today I opted with the um, top. So basically you will see I will line up the letters at the bottom so that the shadow basically is at the top. Um, previously I did it the other way around so I thought maybe I'd try it differently. And originally I wanted um, to, you know, to, to remove those little stripes um, to have some white uh, showing through there. But then I really like that look, so I actually added back uh, those little die cuts. Not a lot fell out, but um, so it was actually really easy to, um, you know, just fill out those spots. And so once this is done, um, I'm gonna bring in another die set just to you know, add something more to this card. By the way, all the cards today are very simple. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm not so big on stamping. Uh, I love background stamps most of all, but I'm always thinking, okay, now that I have that beautiful background stamped, what should I add? You know, like, I don't want to cover it up because I worked hard on it and it looks really nice. So I'm always, I just always want to leave those panels like they are and not even make cards from them, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I had a hard time with this um, to 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 create finished cards. But yeah, so they, they are kind of on the simple side. Um, now I'm creating a card base here. Um, I uh, trimmed down that leopard panel uh, just a little bit. It actually, if you stamp uh, the, the, if you use the stamp twice, it's not gonna cover an entire A2 panel. Um, it's gonna be just a little bit smaller. So that's why I trimmed it. And so I just added some blue cardstock. Um, Okay, so I'm adding some foam tape to give um, these letters a bit of lift. And once I've done that, I'm gonna come in with the um, scripty thank you die set. Um, and I'm just going to use a part of it. Um, so he here it is in a second. This is the scripty thank you set and then I'm just using the U part from it and I actually die cut this from two different blues because I did not know which one I wanted to use and then I decided to use both of them <laughs> in a way that I kind of offset the top part a little bit so there is a, um, a darker blue shining or like peeking through um, and that's actually gonna be the card I think. Now on to the next um, card I am um, using the flora border die for this and you know I love um, paper piecing uh, or the, the in, I think it's called inline technique maybe um, so now I'm doing something different than what I did before normally I just uh, add 
double-sided tape to the top bit of the die cut and then piece every piece, um, little piece back into the die using liquid glue. Now, if you could see, I put the double-sided tape on the bottom piece. Um, so now all of that is sticky. So this is good with dies where you, you can fill in all the pieces. But actually in another video that I did, um, because at the same time I did these cards, I also made some more cards. There, I actually didn't notice that the die uh, had some parts which I did not need in my design, but then I had sticky parts there. So be careful with that. Um, otherwise you have all these sticky mess. Um, so make sure that you fill in every piece there. Okay, so this took a, a while, although not too long, because honestly, it was really, um, you know, it was simple and fast to, to, to put those pieces back this way. Um, now I am creating my card base. And for this, um, I'm going to trim a piece of light um, pink. I think, I don't know if it's blush, uh, blush or... I never remember the colors and often I only have scraps of uh, cardstock, but it's from Basil. And then I also trim down that Argyle pattern. And I die cut this Hello um, die as well. Um, and I am gluing together both um, like the, the inlay pieces what did I say before uh, that technique was called? I now think I said something wrong. It's inlaying, right? <laughs> okay, so whatever I said, forget it. Um, anyway, I use the white, um, the inside pieces as well, and the outlines as well. And I'm just adding the colorful pieces on top of that so they will basically stand out. But you could just skip the white bits and fill these in instead. But I, I thought that it just gives it a little bit of something, something. And as you, as you can see, the um, H and the E are connected. So I just um, trimmed those so um, I could have two different colors. And finally, I'm adding um, my floral uh, die cut here and just trimming off the edges. And once I glued down the hello, um, as a final step, I'm gonna add some enamel dots like I often do. And I probably spent a lot more time on this than what you will see in the video because <laughs> I don't know, sometimes it uh, takes more time than the card itself. Okay, um, moving on to my final card. Uh, this is with the knit pattern um, panel. And now this one I really didn't want to cover up. So I am just going to add some really simple um, butterflies to this. For, th for those, I created two layers, uh, three color um, colorful ones and then three white ones. And I offset them a little bit just so that they the, the white helps them stand out um, and once I glued them together in the middle I will just um, or I stitched them down with my sewing machine just for an an extra texture and interest and just because I like stitching so that's it it's very simple and then I uh, bend up the wings for a little bit of dimension and of course, I'm also going to add some enamel dots. I'm trying to match um, the colors as much as possible. Some of the colors are more difficult than others. I don't think I have um, a lot of the um, this butter kind of color. And also the blues are not quite right. And purple, magenta, some of them are difficult. <laughs> but I do have most of the colors. And then I just kind of scatter them around 
um, on the background. And now I also decided to come back um, to some of the cards and add some twine. So this just very simply, I'm just wrapping it around twice and then I um, create a bow and trim off the um, axis that Oh yeah, and I also glue down the middle just, you know, so that it stays in place. And I'm also doing the same for this second card. And I think I didn't do it for the last card. So only for two of them. And then that's it for today. I hope I could give you some ideas with these stem sets. Um, I really, really love building backgrounds, especially because you can, you know, create all kinds of colorways. It's just really fun. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.